Release today show Utah Hispanics and Latinos are far more likely to contract COVID-19 than any other ethnic group. Fox 13's Max Roth joins us with a look at the numbers and what the state epidemiologist thinks they mean. Max. Yeah, you guys, you know, Utah's biggest ethnic minority is made up of those who identify as Hispanic or Latino. The Census Bureau says they are 14 percent of Utah's population. But take a look at the numbers. 28 percent of our COVID-19 cases are among Hispanics or Latinos, exactly twice as many as you would expect from their proportion of the population. Now compare that to non-Hispanic white Utahns at almost 80% of the population, whites are just 56% of the COVID-19 cases. Now epidemiologist Dr. Dunn said this when someone asked her if that means Hispanics and Latinos are not following the rules as well as others. If you think about what we're asking people to do, we're asking you to stay at home, not go to work, isolate yourself from others. So the people who are able to do that are people who have money, who have a job who that's able to give them paid sick leave to stay at home and have a home big enough to isolate away from others. This kind of disparity that we're seeing in Utah is remarkably similar to what's happening elsewhere. For example, Illinois' black population is 14.6% of their overall population, and they make up 28% of cases in Illinois, according to The Atlantic Magazine. Almost exactly the same as what we see with our largest minority group. All right, let's take a look at the trend line for new cases in Utah. It does continue to be positive. You look at the top of this chart, you see the curve bending a little to the right. Yesterday, we had 49 new cases, today 130. Those are relatively low numbers as a percentage of the total. And the Cicero Group gave us this. They're a data firm that's located in Utah, and they've created some really helpful graphics. This one shows the percentage of the population testing positive in different Utah counties. And you can see Summit and Wasatch counties really stand out. They have low populations, so a high incident per capita of COVID-19 cases. The other major trend that we're seeing in the American West, including in Utah, is on the Navajo Reservation. That is including San Juan County, where cases and hospitalizations are outpacing other Western communities. Back to you guys.